Join us on Patreon to support our channel and the work we do to help people, animals, and the planet. You'll get rewards like ebooks, one on one Skype calls, and online coaching discounts. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So a while ago I made a video on how I cured my candida after seven years. And it's probably our most viewed video because so many people are suffering with candida out there in society and there's a lot of you know misinformation about it. So that's why I made that video to clear up all of that misinformation because I've gone through everything, I've experienced everything. And it has helped a lot of people, so that's great. But we still get lots of questions about it. People still wanting some kind of magic potion or silver bullet. And there is one, and it is diet, but not many people want to take that advice. Anyway, we were talking about this video the other day because we're now living in Thailand. And we were living in Thailand a few years ago when my candida was at its worst. And we remember thinking at the time that my candida was being caused by the humidity of the tropics there. And so when we were deciding where we wanted to live in the world, we would actually sort of think of a few places that I know were prospects and then we'd get on Google and we'd have a look at what the humidity was like. And then we would decide based on whether the humidity was below or above a certain number, whether that place was going to be suitable to live in or not. And we'd have, you know, uh, climate charts and, you know, oh, what if it was a uh, rainy season during these months? Okay, so we couldn't be there then, but then we could, you know, be elsewhere at that time. You know, it was just crazy. We were sort of, you know, our whole life was being consumed and controlled and dictated by, you know, we thought the humidity. Well, as it turned out, it wasn't the humidity at all. It was my high fat diet that I had been eating as a non-vegan as a vegetarian with all those high fat dairy and eggs and also as a high fat vegan with all the oils and nut seeds and avocados that I was packing in. So when I found the high carb low fat vegan lifestyle after only three months of following this lifestyle after seven years of having tried everything else my candida healed completely never to return. And in the last 17 months that I've been completely candida free, we've been living in subtropical and very humid Brisbane, Australia, as well as Bali and Thailand, both of which are in the tropics. So it's clearly not the humidity and it was clearly the high fat diet I was eating. We just found this uh, fascinating to, you know, uh, think about. And so the message of this video is don't let your dreams be stopped by whatever health problem or disease you might be experiencing at the moment. First and foremost, take a look at your diet. And generally speaking, for most health problems, a high carb, low fat, whole foods, vegan diet will be the cure and the answer. So be sure to go back and watch the full video on how I healed my candida if you haven't already. And if you have any further questions, I am available for one-on-one -on -one online health coaching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it around with anyone you think might benefit, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys.